Declan, into the second leg of this long road trip for your team, you get three out of four points in Abbotsford. So I guess we'll start there. What did you see from the team in those uh, in those games where you able to pick up the points? Um, I think we finally went in there and, and got the first win, which was huge. I mean, we usually go in there and, and lose pretty badly and then have to bounce back. But uh, we, we came in with some energy and we're coming off some, some good games before at home. And I think we brought that into Abbotsford and continued the good play there. So, yeah, I like the way the team's going right now. When you're able to go in a building that's given you a bit of trouble in the past and pick up three or four, how big is that for the confidence of the team? Oh, it's huge. I mean, that's a good team in Abbotsford, especially they're tough to play in at home uh, in their barn there. So, I mean, uh, it was really nice to go in there and get three out of four points. I think we played really well, and um, we showed that we're, we're looking to get that first place spot in our division. Yeah, talking about that first place spot, uh, one point between you and the Texas Stars. You're tied with the Milwaukee Admirals. It's a real close fight right now. Uh, what's it going to take to maybe find yourself atop the standings at the end of the weekend? Um, it's going to take the exact same amount of effort and play. I mean, we're going to have to come out here and, and hopefully get four points. Um, it's so tight, like you said. So uh, every, every game we win, you're, you're thinking Texas is going to win a game too. So, I mean, we're just going to have to be, keep winning these games and string together points. You're up against an Iowa team that you've had some success against this season, five wins and six outings, but they haven't come easy by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, what does this team do well, and what are you going to have to look out for here this weekend? Uh, Iowa, they, they, they play really hard. I mean, they get the, the puck in deep always, and they're, they're forechecking hard, and they think they finish their hits every time. So we're going to have to be quick on the transition, get pucks up, and have uh, sustained ozone pressure, hopefully. Um, we do that, and we get pucks at the net. Um, hopefully we can create some rebounds and maybe bang in uh, some pucks. So, I mean, I think that's what it's going to take. For yourself, you hit 40 points over the weekend. Uh, first moves to do that since Sammy Niku back in the 17-18 uh, season. Uh, what's it take to, to have a productive season from the blue line? Uh, just consistency and um, coming ready to play every night, I think. I'm just trying to do my best to help the team win every night, and, and um, it's been going pretty well. Looking at the past couple of seasons, you've been part of a very productive blue line. I mean, even looking at you guys this season, you're sitting up in the, the top five in D scoring, uh, along with Leon and uh, Vili also in the top 30. So that's pretty rare that you have uh, such a productive defense. And how much fun is it playing with these guys the past couple of years? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, we've had a great decor the last few years here. I mean, Winnipeg's always been loaded with great defensemen. So I think uh, we're, we're learning off each other and we're... Um, pushing each other to play better and to put up those points. So, I mean, it's a blast back here. I wanted to ask you about uh, the, the five-on-three power play in Abbotsford. You roll out three defensemen. Not the first time you've done that this season either and been successful with it. Is it a bit, bit of a different look when you have those the three of you out there as defensemen, or is it just extra pieces on the power play? Yeah, I think it's just extra pieces. I mean, uh, we can all move the puck really well, and, and we're all offensive-minded, so I think... Um, I mean, we have good chemistry out there, so we're, we're moving the puck around. I mean, I think that was a pretty crisp power play. We're slinging around pretty quick, and, uh, and then Leon buries it with a one-timer, which is a pretty natural spot for him, kind of in Ovi's office over there. So uh, I think that was just a really good setup for us. We like that three defensemen up top. Well, you mentioned Leon scoring that goal and uh, up near the top, tied for second in the league among AHL defensemen in goals. What have you seen from him this season that's led to that success? Uh, he's just got such a great shot. Um, I mean, when he gets that one-timer off, I don't think a lot of goal, goaltenders in this league are going to stop it because it comes off so quick. And uh, thankfully, thankful, thankfully for me, um, uh, I'm feeding him those one-timer passes usually. So uh, I'm getting a point off it, and uh, he's just a great defenseman to play with. So it's a, it's a blast to play with him.